You're gonna need to learn coding, JavaScript, CSS to make a website, right? Wrong. These days, you don't need to know anything about coding to build a website. Any noob can learn to do it. Trust me, even I did it. So in this video, I'll tell you everything you need to know about building your own website. What does a website need? How much does it cost? And most importantly, why would you even want to create it? So first things first, most modern website builders allow you to make a fully custom blog, portfolio, or a passion project website with just simple drag and drop. These days, any beginner can learn to make a beautiful website within half an hour. It's crazy. And even if you're a pro and you're going to need to use some code, there's no way you wouldn't be able to figure out through a simple YouTube tutorial or just asking ChatGPT. So in order to live on the internet, a website only needs two things, a domain name and a host. What are these things? A domain name is basically like a home address for your website, the thing that people type into the search bar when they went to go to it. It's basically your website's link. A typical .com domain name usually costs up to $15 a year. If you're not trying to go for anything fancy. You can either buy a domain name separately or together with your hosting plan. And hosting is the second thing that you'll need. So if a domain name is your home address, then a host is your house basically, a server where your website lives. There are a lot of different hosting providers that offer features based on your specific needs. For example, Shopify is best if you want to sell products through your website or something like Hostinger if you want to host a WordPress blog. I leave all the links in the description. If you go with the bare minimum, it typically will cost you around five bucks a month to have your own website. The price mostly depends on the hosting provider that you choose. If you go with something cheap, then you'll have to pay even lower than that. It's important to mention that most hosting providers offer promotional discounts for the first year and then renew their prices at a higher rate. This means that it might cost you 50 bucks to host a website for the first year and the price might jump up to as high as 150 the following year. That's why for hosting my website, I went with Hostinger because they have a four year plan, which basically means that I will pay the lowest price for four years. And then only after that, it will renew back to the default price. Currently, I'm paying $11 per year for a domain name and $28 per year for hosting for the first four years. Without using coding, there are really many ways to build a website. And that's because you can use a website builder. A website builder is something that lets you customize every aspect of your website by just using drag and drop. So WordPress or Shopify would be great examples. WordPress is something that most websites that you visit on the internet use these days. And it's basically a website builder that's best for bloggers. When you search something on Google, for example, what's the average length of a giraffe, you're most likely going to find an answer that was written on a blog post through WordPress. Now, for example, Shopify is best if you're trying to sell something, whether a physical product or a digital digital product, doesn't matter. So for example, with Shopify, all you need to do is go in, select free trial, then set up all the settings and you'll be able to start building out your website. You can add products, set their pricing. And within 10 minutes, I was able to build this product page without using a single drop of code. It's that easy. Within WordPress, you can install a plugin called Elementor. It basically replaces the default WordPress content editor with just a cooler one. That's in my opinion, easier to use. You can just drag and drop elements into your blog post or customize your whole website with pre-built themes and elements that you can just put in as you choose. But why go through all this trouble? What can you even do with a website? Well, anything really. It can be a portfolio of your work that you can show to your potential employer, just a place to gather cool ideas, or my favorite, a blog. Not that kind of blog that you're thinking about. A blog I'm talking about is essentially a list of useful resources. But why would someone want to create a list of useful resources? Well, to make money. So how do websites, particularly blogs, make money? Anytime you Google something, a result is either an annoying sponsored ad or a blog post. This is what blogs want. They try to rank high on Google, so a lot of people click. But how do you rank on Google? Well, you need to publish good, helpful content, usually in a type of an article that people find useful. It's that simple. An article like that is usually 1000 to 2000 words long. These days, people publish a bunch of articles, usually with the help of AI like Surfer SEO or ChatGPT. They rank on Google and get traffic. Links for all these tools are in the description. And the point of all those people clicking on your blog post is to make money, of course. Cold, hard cash. Having a website,
website to blog seems so boring and outdated, but blogging is still very much a massive opportunity to make big money. I'm talking quit your job for life type of money. But how? As with any business, it takes a lot of time and patience, but in two to five years time, you could retire if you go in hard on blogging. Essentially what you need are a bunch of helpful articles that'll rank on Google. 100 articles that are around 1000 to 2000 words for the first year is a good benchmark to aim for. It's not easy, but not impossible. And the best thing is that when you actually write those articles, you then don't have to do anything to make money. I think it's worth suffering a bit for two years, writing every day to be able to quit your job and not work for someone else for the rest of your life. And it's only suffering if you're writing about things that you're not enjoying. Now, there are three ways a website could make money from search traffic, affiliates, ads, or selling their own products. With affiliates, you join an affiliate network like Amazon Associates and almost any brand these days has an affiliate program so you can basically recommend any product. Then you put an affiliate link inside of your blog post and whenever people click on them and purchase that product or service, you make a little bit of money. For example, if you sign up for Skillshare through my link in the description and watch some of my courses, decide that you like Skillshare and don't cancel your free trial, then I will make some money because I was the one who referred you to Skillshare. Now with ads, you need to get your website to a certain amount of views every month to be able to join an ad network. And what they do is just basically place ads all over your website. So each visitor that sees those ads will bring you a few cents. Some ad networks pay ridiculous CPMs like $30 per 1000 views, which means that if your website gets 50,000 views per month, that's an easy $1,500 per month for you. But if you don't like ads and recommending someone else's products, then what you can do is sell your own stuff. The best stuff to sell are digital products like courses, digital planners, templates, PDFs, eBooks, Notion templates, or even wallpapers. Anything that fits what you're blogging about. But if you combine all these three methods of making money with a blog, so affiliates, ads, and selling your own products, then you can make ridiculous amounts of passive income. But building your own website is not a get rich quick scheme. It requires a ton of patience, which is probably the most important virtue if you want to become successful. Persistence overshadows every talent as the most valuable resource shaping the quality of life. Tony Robbins. Expand your time horizon. Think decades, not days. The thing is, we usually overestimate what we can do in a year, but underestimate what we can do in five years. If you can stick with doing something for more than one year, whether it be a YouTube channel or a blog, but do it consistently, you'll beat almost any any other human on the planet because no one can sit down every day for a year and do something without seeing any results. No one can compete with someone who puts in such an unreasonable amount of time into something. With that said, I hope you achieve all of your goals and I'll leave you with this quote. Whether you believe you can or you can't, you're right.